Russia-Ukraine Live News, Calls to Ban Russia from G20 Summit UK Prime Minister Candidate Sunak, Putin should be barred from G20 in Bali Rishi Sunak, one of the two candidates vying to replace Boris Johnson as British Prime Minister, has called on the G20 to bar Russian President Vladimir Putin from its meetings until Moscow halts the war in Ukraine, his spokesman said on Friday. Putin and Chinese leader Xi Jinping will attend the G20 summit on the resort island of Bali this November, a longtime advisor to the Indonesian president said earlier, Reuters reported. Our G20 partners and allies have a collective responsibility to call Putin's abhorrent behavior out. Sitting round a table with him isn't good enough when he is responsible for children being killed in their beds as they sleep. A spokesman for former finance minister Sunak said that we need to send a strong message to Putin that he doesn't have a seat at the table unless and until he stops his illegal war in Ukraine. As head of the G20 this year, Indonesia has faced pressure from Western countries to withdraw its invitation to Putin over his country's invasion on Ukraine which has now entered its 178th day. Indonesia has also invited Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky to attend the Bali summit. U.S. announces new $775 million Ukraine military aid package. Senior U.S. defense official says package will include mine-resistant vehicles, surveillance drones and other weaponry. The United States has announced a new $775 million military aid package for Ukraine, as the Biden administration pledged to keep helping the country stave off Russia's continuing invasion for as long as it takes. In a statement on Friday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the assistance will include additional arms, munitions, and equipment from Department of Defense inventories, without going into further detail. Additional arms, munitions, and equipment said Blinken, adding that the aid brings the administration's total security assistance to Ukraine to about $10.6 billion. These capabilities are carefully calibrated to make the most difference on the battlefield and strengthen Ukraine's position at the negotiating table, he said. While the statement did not say what weapons would be sent to Kyiv, a senior U.S. defense official told reporters earlier on Friday that Washington would for the first time include mine-resistant vehicles in the aid package. Speaking on condition on anonymity, the official said the assistance would include 15 Scan Eagle surveillance drones, 40 mine resistant, ambush protected vehicles known as MRAP, and about 1,000 Javelin anti tank missiles. It will also include additional ammunition and 16 plus 105mm howitzer systems, the official said. We want to make sure that Ukraine has a steady stream of ammunition to meet its needs, and that's what we're doing with this package, the defense official said. While this is the first time the U.S. is providing Scan Eagle drones, another country has provided them to Ukraine in the past, the official added, without elaborating. As it nears the six month mark, the conflict in Ukraine has settled into a war of attrition fought primarily in the east and south of the country. The new list of U.S. arms seems to be for when the Ukrainians are ready to try a major advance, defense strategy expert Phillips O'Brien wrote on Twitter. Explosions were reported overnight on Friday near military bases deep within Russian held areas of Ukraine and inside Russia itself. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said in televised remarks that statements from Ukrainian officials about striking facilities in Russian-occupied Crimea mark an escalation of the conflict openly encouraged by the United States and its NATO allies. Moscow has repeatedly warned Washington against harming Ukraine, saying such moves wary an escalation of the conflict openly encouraged by the United States and its NATO allies. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and other leaders have called on their allies to send heavy weaponry to help the country's forces push back against Russia's military offensive. The U.S. assistance package announced on Friday marks the 19th time the Pentagon has provided equipment from Department of Defense stocks to Ukraine since August 2021. 
Previous packages have included tactical drones and high-mobility artillery rocket systems, referred to as EMARS, among other weaponry.